This video sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create photo gallery slideshow like this. So let's get started. First today sponsor message, design your project better and faster, with Envato Elements, get over 5 million stock assets and ready to use templates for your next project, get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements, and start creating today. Also subscribe the Envato Tuts Plus channel from Envato Elements. Here you can find After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, InDesign, Packaging Design, and lots of creative courses and tutorial videos free of cost. Just subscribe the Envato Tuts Plus channel, and you can win one year free Envato Elements subscription. For more detail find the first link in the description. First create a new comp, 1920 by 1080, this is our main comp. Now create one more composition, I call this BG1. Now create another one more composition. I call this placeholder 1. Now drag your image into the timeline. Resize according to composition. Now go to BG1 composition, and drag placeholder 1 into the timeline. Now drag second brush footage into the timeline. Select placeholder layer and change track matte luma matte. Cool. As you can see our footage not enough for our timeline. So select the layer right click, go to time, and enable time remapping, and increase your layer. Perfect. Now drag texture image into the timeline. And change layer mode screen. Now select placeholder layer and search tint effect. Tint amount around 70%. Then search fast blur effect and increase blurriness 20 and check repeat edge pixels cool now go to main comp and drag bg1 comp into the timeline and make a 3d layer go to 2 view and move z position back side of the comp and increase scale amount around 300%. Now search motion tile effect. Output width and height 300. And check mirror edges. Now create one more composition. I call this BG text. Width and height 1000 pixels. Here we need to add some random text. So select text tool, and create a paragraph box. And type your text. Now select ellipse tool, and create a mask like this. and increase mask feather around 300 pixels. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag BG text comp into the timeline, and convert as a 3D layer. Go to 2 view and adjust bottom right side of the comp. and also rotate the Y rotation little bit. 
Now duplicate the layer, and move left side of the comp and adjust top left side. And change Y rotation minus 30 degrees. Now create one more composition 1920 by 1080. And this is our frame 1. Drag placeholder 1 into the timer line. Now drag first brush footage into the timer line. And change placeholder track Mataluma mat. We also need to enable time remapping. Perfect. Now drag frame one image into the timer line. Here you can see. Now create a white solid layer. Select ellipse tool, and create a mask like this. And increase mask feather. And change layer opacity around 40%. Now go to first frame, press P for position, and move the shape top side of the comp and add a keyframe, then go to 2 second forward, and move the shape bottom side of the comp. Select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. We also need to animate the opacity, press T for opacity, and add a keyframe, and change opacity 0%, then go to 2 and half second forward and change opacity 40%. Perfect. Now drag texture image into the timer line, and change layer mode screen, Now go to main comp and drag frame 1 comp into the timer line. Convert as a 3D layer. Then go to 2 views, and move Z position, little bit back side of the comp. And you can also change the Z rotation little bit. You can also increase the size around 110%. Cool. Now create one more new composition. 1300 by 1300 pixels. This is our frame 2. Again create a new composition with same dimension. And this is our placeholder 2. Drag your image into the timer line. Resize according to the comp. Now go to frame 2 composition. And drag placeholder 2 comp into the timer line. Now drag frame 2 image into the timer line. Here you can see. Then drag texture image into the timer line. And change layer mode normal to screen. Now go to main comp and drag frame 2 comp into the timer line. And make a 3D layer. And move Z position little bit back side of the comp. And adjust top right side. Resize layer around 75%. And rotate Z rotation little bit.
Now duplicate frame 2 layer. And move bottom left corner. And also move Z position little bit front side of the comp. Change Z rotation according to you. Now we need to replace our image. So first select duplicate frame 2 layer, then go to project window, and duplicate frame 2 comp. Now hold alt key and drag frame 3 comp into the timeline. By doing this our duplicate frame 2 replace with frame 3. Now open frame 3 layer. Similarly we need to replace this placeholder too. Open placeholder 3 and change your image. Here you can see. Now select frame 2 and search tint effect. Tint amount around 60%. Then search fast blur effect. Blurriness around 30. Copy both effects, and paste it on frame 3 layer. Perfect. Now create a new camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Then create null layer. Convert layer as a 3D layer, and parent your camera with null layer. Now we need to animate our comp. So first select null layer, press P for position, select position right click and separate dimensions. Press shift R for rotation. Now go to around 2 and half second forward, and add a keyframe on position and rotation. Then go to first frame, and move the Z position little bit close to camera. And move Y position bottom side of the comp. Now adjust X and Y rotation little bit. Now go to around 1 second forward to our second keyframes, and add a keyframe on position and rotation. Then again go to 1 second forward, and move the X position left side of the comp. And you can also adjust the rotation little bit. You can animate position and rotation according to you. I am just showing you an example. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect. Open frame 1. Move placeholder, brush and reflection layers few frame forward. Perfect. Now drag particle footage into the timeline. Change layer mode screen.
Now create a new solid layer. Solid color black. Then select ellipse tool. And create a mask like this, change mask cap to subtract. And increase mask feather. Also decrease layer opacity around 50%. Now create an adjustment layer. And search fast blur effect. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe. And change blurriness 70. And check repeat edge pixels. Then go to around 1 second forward. And change blurriness 0. Now go to 2 seconds forward, and add a keyframe. Then again go to 1 second forward and change blurriness 70. Cool. Now create one more adjustment layer, and search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Now search sharpen effect. As you can see our main image a little bit blur. So we need to adjust the focus distance. So open camera options. And increase focus distance. Perfect. Now increase the sharpen amount around 20. Now search vibrance effect. Increase vibrance 20. And saturation 10. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done, hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.